Dear teachers, my name is Maggie Zhao, Metware Product Manager. Today, I will continue to share the spatially resolved metabolomics with you. Last time we talked about what is spatially resolved metabolomics and what information we can get from the mass spectrometer, you must be very confused about why choose spatially resolved metabolomics. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the application of spatially resolved metabolomics. Let's start with the traditional metabolomics. For a traditional metabolomics, first of all, you need to get tissue samples, animal or plant. Then, the metabolites in the tissue were extracted, and the extracted liquid was tested on the machine. Finally, the content of metabolites in the whole tissue was obtained. From this, we can know that traditional metabolomics can't detect metabolite spatial distribution information. So that's time we need to do spatially resolved metabolomics experiments. As we talked about last time, spatially resolved metabolomics is used to imaging detection and in situ analysis in biological tissues, it can master the change rules and spatial and temporal distribution of metabolites that related to physiology and pathology. In this case, the main features are spatial and temporal distribution. Therefore, the role and mechanism of metabolites in life activities and pathological processes can be further understood. These are the key scientific questions that spatially resolved metabolomics addresses. Now let's look at the application of spatially resolved metabolomics in various research directions. First, let's look at its use in cancer. Spatially resolved metabolomics can be added to the detailed spatial information of traditional histology through the marker-free specificity of mass spectrometry imaging. We can then image hundreds of metabolites simultaneously in the tumor. Highly detailed metabolite maps of spatially resolved metabolomics can be used to compare intertumoral, peritumor, and healthy regions. Therefore, spatially resolved metabolomics is useful for differentiating tumor regions. Furthermore, it helps surgeons perform operations. In addition, we can use spatially resolved metabolomics to identify biomarkers, disease patterns, and potential therapeutic targets in order to diagnose, classify, grade and treat tumors more accurately. Meanwhile, drug targets and transmission pathways can be studied to understand the therapeutic mechanism of drugs on tumors. So that's the application of spatially resolved metabolomics in tumors. In addition, spatially resolved metabolomics is also widely used in pharmacokinetics. Failure to treat disease or systemic cancer may be due, at least in part, to drugs not being administered at high enough concentrations or distributed evenly enough to deliver to the appropriate site of the tumor or disease. To understand whether a drug is being adequately delivered to the tumor, precision pharmacology techniques are needed. The spatially resolved metabolomics allows imaging of drug distribution in tissues. Thus, spatially resolved metabolomics can be used to characterize the distribution of anti-cancer or anti-disease drugs in vivo and within diseases or tumors. Clinically, it is possible to determine the optimal dosage, timing, combination and delivery system for new drugs. So the application of pharmacokinetics and space metabolism can be divided into three general directions. 1. Drug distribution in vivo and in tumor organs. 2. Drug distribution in tumors. 3. Validation on principle and the mechanism of action of drugs. So that's the application of spatially resolved metabolomics in pharmacokinetics. Next, let's look at the use of spatially resolved metabolomics in plants. It is also widely used in plants. First, it can study the distribution of specific metabolites, such as Chinese herbal medicine ingredients. In addition, there are also some characteristic substances, such as color-related substances, anthocyanins. There are also some quality-related substances. In addition, the accumulation and transport of substances during growth and development can also be studied. Hormones, for example, promote plant growth and development. We can look at this example on the right. By using spatially resolved metabolomics, the paper on the right mainly studied the distribution of quinolizidine alkaloids in lupinus angustifolius seeds and how it accumulates during growth. It turned out that quinolizidine alkaloids were transported into the seed by other parts, not synthesized by the seed itself. In addition, spatially resolved metabolomics can also be used in plant disease biometrics. For example, the HLB. 
Huang Longbing disease, study. Huang Longbing disease affects citrus very much and can cause spots and degeneration on the fruit surface. Spatially resolved metabolomics analysis of citrus could reveal the markers of Huang Longbing disease. In addition, it can be applied to biological stress to understand how plants defend themselves against biological stress. The paper on the right, for example, is a study of nematodes infecting plants. Spatially resolved metabolomics techniques were used here to detect in situ and describe the distribution of tissues, endogenous peptides and secondary metabolites, from nematode induction, that's helped understand how plants resist nematodes in response to changes in nematodes to achieve protection. Spatially resolved metabolomics can also be applied to abiotic stresses. Take the article on the right for example. It uses spatially resolved metabolomics to analyze changes in the spatial distribution of metabolites and lipids in plants under high salt stress. In order to understand how to improve the salt stress resistance during seed germination. As can be seen from the above, spatially resolved metabolomics is also widely used in plants. Including biological stress, abiotic stress, accumulation of specific substances, and screening biomaker for disease. The above is all the content we share today. If you are interested in spatially resolved metabolomics, please do not hesitate to contact us. Our website address, http colon slash slash www.metwarebio.com. Next time, we'll talk about how to experiment with spatially resolved metabolomics. Thanks for your listening.